You want to know whether you're truly thriving in life right now? Let's cut to the truth. Success doesn't always wear the garb of celebration and applause. Sometimes, it cloaks itself in solitude. When you find yourself standing alone, devoid of the crowd that once surrounded you, understand that this is not a sign of failure, but of profound growth. You see, the higher you climb, the thinner the air, the more rarefied the company. The path to greatness is not crowded, it is a solitary ascent, where the weight of superficial connections falls away, leaving only the purest, most authentic version of yourself. Loneliness is not a curse, but a crucible, forging you into the person you are destined to become. As you strip away the noise and distractions, what remains is the raw, unfiltered truth of who you are. The world around you might call it isolation, but you know better. This is the space where transformation happens where your power gathers, and where the seeds of greatness take root. The paradox is clear. The more you grow, the fewer people can keep up. And so, as you stand in this solitude, know that you are not alone because you've lost something, but because you've outgrown what no longer serves you. This loneliness is an indicator of your progress, a testament to the fact that you are no longer willing to settle for mediocrity. You are stepping into your true power, unencumbered by the weight of others' expectations or the limitations of the past. In this sacred space, your energy is not diluted by the needs of others, but concentrated, focused, and potent. Here, you are not merely surviving. You are thriving, ascending to levels that few can reach. So, when you look around and find yourself alone, know that this is not a void, but a victory. This is the mark of someone who is not just doing good in life, but someone who is destined for greatness. The world tells you that success is accompanied by a chorus of accolades surrounded by admirers and companions who cheer you on. But the truth is far more complex, far more profound. The reality of success is a solitary climb, a journey where the higher you ascend, the more those around you fall away. You don't have anyone to depend on because your growth has outpaced the people who once stood by your side. This isn't a failure. It's the price of your elevation. When your vision sharpens, when your purpose becomes clear, the distractions of the world start to fade. Relationships that were once vital become secondary, even obsolete. It's not that you've chosen to be alone, but rather that your focus has created a natural separation. The further you walk toward your destiny, the fewer can follow. This solitude is not a void. It's a testament to the fact that you're on the right path. Your energy, once spread thin across countless connections, is now concentrated, powerful, and directed solely toward your goals. The absence of friends, the quiet that surrounds you, is a sign that you are moving in a direction others can't comprehend. Their inability to keep up isn't a reflection of your worth, but of your transformation. You've transcended the ordinary, and the extraordinary path you're on is one that few can tread. This loneliness you feel is not emptiness. It's the space where your greatness is cultivated. It's where the noise of the world falls silent and the voice of your higher self becomes clear and commanding. You've outgrown the old narratives, the old dependencies. The connections that once seemed essential now feel like chains holding you back. As these ties dissolve, you are left with something far more valuable, the unencumbered freedom to pursue your true purpose. In this solitude, you find your power, your clarity, your unwavering resolve. The world may not understand your path, and that's precisely the point. You're not here to be understood. You're here to achieve what others cannot even fathom. So when you look around and see that you're standing alone, know that this is a sign of your ascension. Few can accompany you to the heights you're destined to reach. Embrace this solitude as the sacred space where your true power is revealed. This is the reality of success. The higher you climb, the lonelier it becomes, and that's exactly where you're meant to be. The truth is, as you ascend into your success, you realize that the world around you is a reflection of the strength you've cultivated within. There's no need to seek companionship in every corner, for you've learned the secret that few ever grasp. You are your own best friend, your own confidant, the architect of your joy. The energy you once invested in others now radiates back to you.
fueling a deeper connection with yourself that transcends the superficial bonds of the past. Success has stripped away the need for dependency. You take yourself out, not as an act of loneliness, but as an affirmation of self-worth. The world becomes your playground, not because someone else is there to share it with you, but because you've claimed it as your own. You move through life with an effortless grace, shopping for yourself, treating yourself, prioritizing self-love in ways that others only dream of. Every step you take, every decision you make, is a testament to the power you found in your own company. As you grow, something extraordinary happens. You begin to enjoy your own presence, not out of necessity, but out of a genuine admiration for the person you've become. Your solitude is not an empty space. It's a vibrant realm where you flourish. In the quiet moments, you find your deepest truths, your most authentic self. You are no longer defined by the relationships that once anchored you, but by the boundless potential that you alone can manifest. Being your own best friend is more than a mantra. It's a lived reality. It's waking up each day and knowing that you are enough, that your success is not contingent upon the approval or support of others. It's the realization that your independence is your greatest asset, your solitude, a wellspring of creativity and power. You've mastered the art of self-reliance, and in doing so, you've unlocked a level of freedom that few ever reach. This is not about isolation, it's about liberation. It's about embracing the fact that you are complete within yourself, that your worth is inherent, unshaken by the presence or absence of others. You've learned to cherish your own company, to find joy in your own thoughts, to become the person you can depend on, always. And in this profound self-connection, you discover that the path to true success isn't crowded, it's solitary. Yet it's where you've found the greatest companionship of all, yourself. The higher you ascend, the more the shadows of jealousy begin to stir. Success, as radiant as it is, casts a blinding light that reveals the envy lurking in the hearts of those who once stood beside you. As your star rises, you'll notice the subtle shifts, the once warm smiles turning cold, the conversations that now carry an edge. They won't tell you outright that your success burns them, that your achievements are a reminder of what they lack. Instead, their actions, veiled in passive aggression and silence, will betray the truth they cannot speak. As you continue to climb, their resentment festers, and what was once camaraderie turns into a battlefield of mind games and silent sabotage. They might begin to distance themselves, retreating into the shadows as your light becomes too unbearable for them to face. Or worse, they linger, poisoning the air with backhanded compliments and subtle jabs, all while smiling through clenched teeth. They'll never admit it. Never say out loud that your success is a mirror reflecting their own insecurities. But you will feel it in every word left unsaid, in every invitation that never comes. The hatred you attract is a strange and bitter accolade, proof that your success is not just seen but felt, deeply, by those who wish they could eclipse you. They start to play their games, attempting to undermine you, to shake your confidence, because they cannot fathom how you've managed to do what they have not. Their bitterness is the alchemy of their own failures, twisted into a weapon aimed at your heart. Yet, what they fail to understand is that their envy only serves to fuel your fire, that their resentment is powerless against the force of your momentum. You'll notice how they begin to fall away, one by one, as your success becomes undeniable. The distance they create is a silent confession, a retreat in the face of your unwavering ascent. Their withdrawal is not a loss, but a shedding of the dead weight that could never rise to your level. Let them go, for you are not meant to be surrounded by those who cannot celebrate your light. Your path is for the bold, for the unafraid, for those who see your success not as a threat, but as a beacon. The truth is, the hatred you attract is a testament to the magnitude of your impact. It is a signal that you are breaking through barriers they never could, that you are touching heights they can only dream of. Wear their jealousy as a badge of honor, for it means you are doing something right. And as they fade into the background, you will find yourself surrounded by those who match your ambition, who are unthreatened by your greatness, 
who will walk beside you as you continue to soar. Success is a path few are willing to tread, and as you ascend, you find that the air grows thinner, the light more elusive. The road to greatness is not paved with the warmth of companionship, but with the cold, hard truth that not everyone can follow where you are destined to go. As your spirit rises, as your ambitions stretch toward the heavens, you begin to outgrow even the most cherished relationships. The bonds that once seemed unbreakable begin to strain under the weight of your progress, tension creeping in like a shadow that cannot be dispelled. The loneliness you encounter on this road is not a reflection of failure, but the inevitable consequence of growth. You are shedding the layers of the old self, leaving behind those who are unable or unwilling to evolve alongside you. This path is treacherous, lined with the silent echoes of friendships that once were, now distant and strained. Even the closest connections, family, a spouse, can begin to unravel, frayed by the realization that your growth has outpaced their comfort zones. They may not say it aloud, but their discomfort is palpable, a silent rift that widens with each new step you take toward your goals. The truth is, success demands a price. It asks for sacrifices that most are not prepared to make. The further you go, the more you realize that the darkness of solitude is a constant companion. Those who once walked beside you now struggle to keep up, their footsteps faltering as yours grow more determined, more relentless. The road narrows, and you find yourself walking it alone, your only company the drive that pushes you forward, the vision that refuses to be dimmed. This loneliness is the crucible in which greatness is forged. It burns away the superficial, leaving only what is essential, what is true. The love and support you once took for granted may falter, but in their place, you find something deeper, a self-reliance, an inner strength that is unshakable. The silence that surrounds you becomes a space of clarity, where your purpose crystallizes with blinding precision. Yes, the road is dark, but it is also where you discover the light that comes from within. The relationships that survive this journey are those that can withstand the fire, that do not crumble in the face of your transformation. And though the path is lonely, it is also liberating, freeing you to become the person you were always meant to be. This is the cost of success, a solitary ascent, but one that leads to the pinnacle of your potential. You've ascended into a realm where your success ignites both admiration and envy. And it is here that the Decepticons reveal themselves, those who cloak their insecurity in manipulation, trying to dim your light because they can't handle its brilliance. These people who once seemed like allies now play mind games designed to undermine your confidence and erode your sense of self-worth. Their tactics are subtle, like poison whispered in your ear, leaving you questioning your own greatness. Decepticons are masters of disguise, hiding their true intentions behind smiles and compliments that cut deeper than any outright insult. They might start bragging about their own achievements, not to share in the joy of success, but to draw comparisons that make you feel inadequate. Their words are laced with a quiet venom, designed to make you doubt the validity of your accomplishments. That's great, but becomes their mantra as they twist every conversation to focus on what you lack rather than what you've achieved. The mind games don't stop there. Decepticons will subtly undermine you, planting seeds of doubt that sprout into insecurities if you're not vigilant. They might question your decisions, feign concern over your choices, or offer unsolicited advice that's meant to lead you astray. Their goal is to shake your foundation to make you second-guess the very steps that brought you success. All the while, they maintain an outward appearance of support, masking their true agenda under the guise of friendship or concern. They thrive on creating chaos in your mind, distorting your reality until you begin to wonder if you're truly on the right path. They'll make you feel like you're competing in a race where the finish line is always moving, like you're never quite enough, no matter how much you achieve. The more you succeed, the harder they work to pull you down, because your elevation is a reminder of their stagnation. The truth that few dare to acknowledge is that most friendships are fleeting, like leaves carried away by the wind as seasons change. You, a force of relentless growth, 
find yourself constantly evolving, shedding layers of your former self like the skin of a serpent. And with each transformation, the circle around you grows smaller. Those who once stood by your side, sharing in your dreams and victories, begin to fade into the background, unable to keep pace with the magnitude of your ascent. As you rise, the falsehood of friendships becomes glaringly apparent. Success is a mirror, reflecting the true nature of those around you, and it often reveals the hollowness of connections you once believed to be solid. The more you achieve, the more you find that many of those who claimed to support you were only comfortable with you as long as you remained on their level. Your elevation disrupts their comfort, highlighting the stagnation in their own lives. They begin to distance themselves, not because of anything you've done, but because your growth is a reminder of what they've failed to achieve. These temporary friends are like shadows, present only in the light of your struggle, but disappearing in the brightness of your success. They were never truly invested in you, only in the version of you that didn't challenge their own mediocrity. As you outgrow them, you start to see the cracks in their facades, the forced smiles, the thinly veiled envy, the subtle ways they downplay your accomplishments. Their support was conditional, tied to their own need to feel secure. And now that you've surpassed them, they falter, retreating into the safety of their own limitations. But in this isolation, you find clarity. The friends who remain, the ones who genuinely celebrate your victories and stand by you in your solitude, are the ones who deserve to walk with you. They are the rare few who are not threatened by your growth but are inspired by it. They see your success not as a challenge to their own worth, but as a beacon that lights the path for all. These are your true allies, forged in the fires of transformation, unshaken by the shifting tides of fortune. The rest, let them go. Their departure is not a loss, but a liberation, a shedding of dead weight that allows you to soar even higher. Your path is one of continual ascension, and not everyone is meant to follow you to the heights you're destined to reach. In the end, success reveals not just who you are, but who was truly with you all along. As you ascend into realms of success that most can only dream of, the universe begins to weave a new thread into your existence, drawing toward you those who resonate with your frequency. The void left by those who could not keep up is not an emptiness, but a sacred space, a fertile ground where new connections will take root, connections that are aligned with the magnitude of your vision and the brilliance of your light. In the quiet aftermath of shedding the old, when you stand in the clarity of your solitude, the universe begins its work. It sends forth kindred souls, those who are not threatened by your success, but who see it as a beacon. These individuals do not come with hidden agendas or quiet envy. They arrive with open hearts and a shared purpose, drawn to you by the same forces that propelled you to greatness. They see the fire within you, not as a threat, but as a guiding light, illuminating the path that they too are destined to walk. These new connections are not mere acquaintances. They are allies in the truest sense, warriors who stand with you as you conquer new heights. They understand the language of success because they speak it too. They do not flinch in the face of your ambition, nor do they seek to diminish your achievements. Instead, they amplify your energy, celebrating your victories as if they were their own. Together, you create a synergy, a powerful alignment that propels you both forward with unstoppable momentum. As you attract these new souls into your life, you'll find that the support they offer is not just in words, but in action. They are the ones who will lift you when you falter who will challenge you to grow even further, who will stand by you in the storm and in the sunlight. These are the connections that are forged not by circumstance, but by destiny, designed to walk with you through the gates of your success. This is the bright side of success, the recognition that as you evolve, so too will the people in your life. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, will always bring you those who are aligned with your highest good, who understand your vision, and who will support you unwaveringly on your path. Trust in this process, for as you continue to rise, you will find yourself surrounded by those who are not only witnesses to your greatness, but active participants in its unfolding. 
These new connections are your tribe, your circle of power, the souls destined to walk with you as you achieve the extraordinary. You find yourself standing alone, but this solitude is not a mark of failure. It is the unmistakable sign of your ascent. Fewer friends, fewer voices in your ear. These are the indicators that you are moving beyond the reach of those who cannot keep pace with your growth. This is the realm where true power lies, where your focus sharpens, and your energy is no longer drained by those who were never meant to walk beside you. Accept this solitude as the sacred space it is, a crucible where your greatness is forged, untainted by the mediocrity that clings to the familiar. Your path is not for the many, but for the few who dare to rise as you have. The loneliness you feel is not emptiness, it is the clearing where the seeds of your next victory will take root. It is in these moments of quiet, when the noise of the world fades, that you connect most deeply with your purpose and your power. You are not alone because you are unworthy. You are alone because you are rising to a level that few can comprehend. This is your reality, your truth, a life of continual ascension, where each step you take propels you further into the extraordinary. The world may not understand your journey, but those who are meant to will find you in the light of your success. Now, it's your turn to share your story. How has solitude shaped your success? How have you embraced the isolation that comes with greatness? Your story is a beacon for others who walk this path, a testament to the strength it takes to stand alone and rise above. Share your experience and let your voice be the call that inspires others to welcome their own solitude as the powerful, transformative force it truly is.